Dear patients, all of you have already been or about to be participants of international clinical trials. Today, I would like to pay attention to one of the important issues in the process of clinical trials. I will tell you about informed consent form. For us and for clinical trials processes, it is a very important issue. Some patients call it an agreement, which is not quite correct. Informed consent form is the such kind of a document that when it is read, patient became aware about everything that may happen to him or her while participating in clinical trials. Patient should understand all possible benefits and risks, advantages and disadvantages, and patient shall make a decision whether to take part in international clinical trials. Because we follow closely the international standards, which is called ICI-GCP, International Conference of Harmonization Group Clinical Practice. I will tell you in details about all of these documents a little bit later. Now, I should say that all what is done in the frame of international trials is based on international rules that are accepted and approved by Ukraine. And we, as a part of clinical trials, are obliged to follow these rules. Informed consent form is the essential document that identifies voluntary and free will decision of the patient to participate in clinical trials. This video I decided to perform in local ethic committee. It is the institution present in each hospital where international clinical trials or studies, whatever you call it, are performed, are take place. Without this committee, trials are impossible to conduct. Local ethic committee was found in order to protect patients' rights and safety. Let us open the room and make short video, which will explain what what is informed consent form, how we use it in everyday activities, and all other, and all other details related to it. Dear patients, imagine the airplane which is being constructed for several years by engineers. They have performed many investigations and, and this airplane is on takeoff runway. It is ready to be used, but cannot take any passengers. It should perform special several flights and prove its safety during these flights. We are nearly on the same stage like this airplane, where the staff that perform clinical trials or investigations, whatever you call it, it means that we are not a specialized scientific institution that designs new drugs or molecules. This process is done in highly technological centers in Europe, United States, we also have a partnership with South Korea, and in general we have 40 business partners. We are clinical hospitals. We cure patients, and thus we take part in phase 3, or sometimes in phase 2 of investigations. When basically all information about study drug is known, safe dose is known, safe mode of administration is known, almost everything is known, and all these investigations were performed in specialized centers. However, due to international laws, like about Mason's airplane, before it takes off, one or several trials have to be performed in order to prove that this drug 
of or this mode of treatment is safe and effective. And only after that, the drug will undergo batch production. We take part at this stage of investigation. Also, I want you to know that participating in clinical trials is not a private enterprise or private activity. It is a part of state policy aimed at an international cooperation between Ukraine and international scientific institutions and so on and so forth. Such scientific cooperation is considered a privilege in all countries around the world. We need only to satisfy high criteria of fellowship partners from, from, uh, from fellowship partners from all over the world. It is a very important for Ukraine as a part of international cooperation. When we started many years ago, patients asked us whether they were laboratory rodents. It is absolutely a misstatement, because about 30 or 40 countries and hundreds of clinical hospitals take part in clinical trials. And according to statistics, around 70% of international trials are conducted in leading countries like United States and Great Britain and 60, 65% are conducted in Europe, Japan, Australia and so on. Unfortunately, Ukraine take a back seat. We are involved in only 3% of international trials. Thus, thesis that our patients are laboratory rodents is wide open to criticism. Recently, ex-Prime Minister of Great Britain, David Cameron, said we are not that rich country to refuse international trials. I do everything necessary, he said, to conduct clinical trials from United States in Great Britain. In other words, wealthy and prosperous countries consider it important to be involved in clinical trials. Ukraine followed the same way. Ukraine government passed required laws which explain our participation in international trials. When international company wants some country to be involved in trial, it learns country experience of participation in clinical trials. Company sends questionnaires about our capabilities, about our equipment, about our methods of treatments, medical care standards, and based on these questionnaires, make a decision whether to cooperate with this country or clinic. If company considers the clinic as potential candidate, international auditors are sent to check all equipment, staff qualification, English language knowledge, contemporary treatment standards awareness, and so on and so forth. And only if the clinic fulfills all these requirements, which requires great efforts to be made. After that, international partners make a request to Ministry of Health to perform international trials. They make a request willing to involve Ukraine together with other countries to perform international trials in Ukraine. As I mentioned, we cover only 3% in United States, around 60% of trials. Ukrainian Ministry of Health has a special department, State Expert Center of the Ministry of Health, which consists of highly qualified experts who learn trial in terms of safety, 
in terms of patient right to medical care. Then, expert center makes a decision whether to perform the trial or not. If decision is positive, Ministry of Health approves several sites, from 2 to 10 sites, with, uh, with the required qualification and resources, and confirms them with corporate applicants, so-called sponsor of the trial. Our clinic is involved in almost all oncological trials conducted in Ukraine. We highly appreciate it and our reputation. And one of the reasons for that is high results of treatment an effective treatment mode used in our clinic. Patients in our clinical in our clinic have long life, receive better health care, have less complications, and since both doctor and patients are fighting for that, we sincerely thank you for this activity. It helped us to invite more and more international trials. Other idea I want to mention is that when the approval is received, uh, each clinic, each local ethic committee is also learned the trial in terms of patients' rights, safety, assurance and risks. All of these are discussed during local ethic committee meeting, where all essential documents are examined and decision is made to perform given trial in clinical hospital. After that, Ukrainian customs receives approvals and, and drug import process is initialized, because most part of drugs and mode of treatment are physically absent in Ukraine. It is up-to-date innovative developments which are important in Ukraine with single license provided by Ministry of Health. Immediately activities are initiated in clinical sites. Clinical sites should have adequate resources and staff qualified doctors, specially trained coordinators and translators, specially trained technical employees, modern and highly precise equipment, laboratory, computer tomography, qualified nurses and junior medical staff, which I may assume to be a very important part of clinic, and all other required conditions. Did we manage to do this? It is the question you will answer us. But we will continue corresponding high requirements.